the story of the carnival's coming? The circus. Oh, you mean the one with the circus is coming? Yeah. Yes, we have to finish that, don't we? Okay, boys and girls, if you remember, on Wednesday, the children ran away to join the circus. Well, that same Wednesday morning, Mommy Pig was busy at her sewing machine, like she always is. And so lunchtime came, and the, the, the piggies didn't come home for lunch, and they didn't bring anybody with them. But she wasn't really too worried about that because she knew that, that sometimes they ate lunch over to Sally Skunk's house, and sometimes they ate lunch over to Patty Pig's house. And so she knew everybody was going to be just fine, so she didn't really worry about it. But then they didn't come home for supper. So now she went out and she called and she rang the bell and she called Piggly, Wiggly, Squiggly, come on boys, supper time. And nobody came. So she called Mr. Farmer Brown and she says, Mr. Farmer Brown, she says, have you seen the boys today? And he says, no, I haven't seen the boys today, Mama Pig. Um, fact is, I haven't seen Sally Skunk, and I haven't seen, um, uh, I haven't seen Allie the Alligator, and I haven't seen, <laughs> I'm not going to forget who went, little P Patty Pig, and I haven't seen the other little boy who went. Anyway, so I know I haven't seen any of those kids, and I, I don't, this is very strange. So she says, okay, I'm going to call Sally Skunk's mama and see if she's seen the kids. So she hung up from Farmer Brown, and she called Mrs. Sally Skunk, and she says, no, and I'm very worried. She said, they didn't come into my house for lunch today. She says, and they're not home right now. She said, I'm getting kind of worried. So Mrs. Skunk said she'll call Patty Pig's mom. And so then uh, Patty, I mean, sorry, Mama... Mama Pig, she called, who went, there's another boy that went with Allie, the alligator. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, boys and girls, but I forgot who the other the little boy was. This is very embarrassing. I'm going to have to write these things down, you know? Little Bad Wolf? I said Little Bad Wolf, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the Rocky story. Raccoon. Rocky the Raccoon may have been. No, 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 it was somebody tall, the tall kid. Allie the alligator and the big bad wolf. And the three pigs is five, and Sally and Patty. I didn't forget anybody. Okay, back to our story now. <laughs> Let's get settled here, boys and girls. So, everybody is calling everybody else's mama, and they're all worried. Where have the kids gone? Oh my gosh, where are they? So Mr. Farmer Brown says, okay, we're going to have to call the police because I think that it's getting kind of, kind of, we need to call the police ladies. So he made the phone call and he said, hello, is this the chief of police? Yes, it is. Well, we need your help over here. Can you come over to Mrs. Pig's house because we have a problem. I'll be right there. So pretty soon here comes the police car. And the policeman gets out and he says, what's wrong, folks? And they all started talking at once and the mamas were crying and they said, they don't know where their babies are and oh my gracious sakes, where's our children at? So the policeman says, didn't I see you at the circus the other day? And Mommy Pig says, well, yes. He says, do you think those boys might have run away to the circus? And Mommy Pig says, no, uh, well, uh, I don't think so. Um, wow, Mrs. Skunk, do you think Sally would gone to the, would run away with the boys? And Mrs. Skunk says, well, knowing Sally, she, I don't know, she's kind of adventuresome. She might want to run away with them. I, wow, this is something interesting. And so Alvin Alligator says, well, you know, Allie, he might have 
he would do something like that. So the policeman says, I tell you what, Mr. Farmer Brown, you come with me and we'll take a ride. Now you ladies just relax. I think I know where to find the boys and the girls at. So Mr. Farmer Brown climbs into the police car and off they go. And for Mr. Farmer Brown says, okay, Mr. Policeman, where are we gonna go? And Mr. Policeman says, well, I know for a fact where the next town is that the circus went. He says, we're gonna go to the circus and we're gonna look around. And Mr. Farmer Brown says, okay, but he says, I just can't see them going to the circus and joining the circus. Why, they're just little kids. And Mr. the policeman says, well, I know, but you know how boys are. You remember when we were boys and we wanted to do things that, that maybe we probably shouldn't have done and, and, you know, let's go see. So off they go. And pretty soon they came to the town where the circus was. They walked in and who do you think they saw riding two pretty, pretty beautiful white horses? Sally Skunk and Patty Pig. And oh, did they look so pretty. Oh my gracious sakes. Mr. Farmer Brown, he didn't know what to say. <laughs> he just did not know what to say. He... So Mr. Policeman says, okay, the boys are here somewhere. And about that time, the elephants come in. There they were. Piggly sat on one elephant, Ooh. Wiggly sat on one elephant, Squiggly sat on one elephant, and they were riding around that first ring. Oh my gracious sakes. And the horses was over in the third ring. Here comes the clown car. Now you know a clown car is only about this big. But it holds probably 10 or 12 or 15 clowns. Don't know how they get all packed into a little teeny tiny car, but they do. Out comes one clown, out comes the two clowns, out comes three clowns, out comes four. Uh oh! Number four. Looks like, looks like an awful lot like Little Bad Wolf. Even though he had a clown suit on and he had paint all over his face with a big, smiley, smile, smiley smile. Looked an awful lot like Little Bad Wolf. Another clown comes out, another clown comes out, another clown comes out, and there was Allie the Alligator in a clown suit. Well, oh. the policeman says, okay, let's go find the boss of this circus and let's bring these kids home. So they went to the back to the front of the tent and they asked the person standing there, where can we find the boss of the circus? Well, let me see. There he is, way over there. See the great big tall guy with the purple shirt on? He wears a purple shirt every day so we can find him. Okay, so they went around and they went over to the far side and there stands the big boss in his purple shirt. <laughs> And they, um, they said, are you the boss of the circus? And he turned around and he says, yes, I am. And he, oh, a policeman. Oh, oh, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong, sir. What, what's going on? And Mr. Farmer Brown says, my name is Mr. Farmer Brown and this is um, Bobby the policeman. And we have come here to take back the children that joined your circus the other day because they ran away from home. I am so sorry, sir. I did not know that the children were runaways. I thought they were just a family of kids, and so I, I'm so sorry. I wouldn't have let them come here. I'm very sorry. And Mr. Bobby, the policeman, says, that's okay. He said, we understand. He says, let's just wound them up and let's take them home. So after their, their act was over with, the boss says, Come here, boys and girls, come here. Ooh, they were scared of the boss because they said, uh-oh, what did we do wrong? We thought we thought we did what we practiced to do and we thought we did it right. What did we do wrong? And so they come up to him and they said, yes, Mr. Boss, what's, what's, what did we do wrong? 
and the boss says, you didn't do anything wrong. In fact, you were probably the best ones that I've seen. You were the best riders of the horses. Those older girls couldn't do it any better than what you two little girls did. You did so good, and you're so pretty on the horses. And boys, you rode that elephants, those elephants, you rode those elephants so good. Oh my goodness gracious. And you two clowns, wow. I laughed at you all. You were funny. You were really great clowns, but I run a good circus here, and I can't have you children working for the circus because you're too young. Oh, we wanted to join the circus, and we wanted to have some fun, and we wanted to make some money. Can't we, Mr. Farmer Brown, can't we please stay here? And Mr. Farmer Brown says, now you know Piggly, Wiggly, and Squiggly, Allie, Little Bad Wolf, Patty, Sally, you know we can't stay here. That's not good for you to stay here. Your mamas want you back, and they are missing you, and they're crying. <gasps> Sally Skunk says, I didn't mean to make my mama cry. And Patty Pig says, my mama's crying too. Yes, all the mamas are crying. Little Bad Wolf says, my mama's not crying because I don't have a mama. Well, I know that. I know that. But all the other children are. Okay, I guess we'll go home. And the circus man says, no, I'm the boss. Before you go, I'm going to pay you. You kids made a good money, and you worked hard helping put those tents up. You boys have fed the horses, and you fed the lions, and you fed the tigers, and you fed the elephants, and you fed the zebras, and you fed everybody. And you girls, you girls even helped sew your costumes. So you worked. All you kids worked real good. So he pulls out his billfold out of his pocket, and he gives each one of them three $5 bills. Ooh. You know how much money that is? That's $15. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Oh my goodness gracious. No, they don't deserve more. They just only work two days. That's $15. So anyway, um, they got into Mr. They got into the police car, and Mr. Farmer Brown got into the front seat, and all the rest of them got into the back, and they went home. Oh my goodness gracious! When they drove in Wiggly Piggly Squiggly's yard, all the mamas were standing there, and they went, "Yay! Everybody's home! Everybody's home!" And all the children started crying and their mama started to cry and oh my goodness gracious everybody was crying it says cry 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 but piggy wiggly and squiggly says mommy i'm so sorry i had that idea and she says squiggly i knew you were going to have that idea and he says and i'm sorry mama he said it sounded like such a good thing at the time he says i'm so sorry that we worried you and and mrs skunk I, when we asked Sally to come because we just, we, Sally's our best friend and we wanted her to come and Mrs. Piggy, I'm so sorry, we wanted, we wanted Patty to come too. I'm so sorry and both the mamas said that's okay boys, we understand. Well, Alvin the alligator said, come on Allie, come on. But Daddy, don't give me a spank, and I didn't mean to run away. I just wanted to have some good time and good fun. He says, I know that. He said, I'm not going to spank you, but don't you do that again. <laughs> and so Little Bad Wolf, he just kind of stands there because he didn't have a mama and a daddy, remember? We're going to get into that a little bit later about his mama and his daddy. We did once before, but we're going to talk more about him in another story. So, Mr. Farmer Brown says to the policeman, thank you, Bobby the policeman. Thank you so very, very, very much. Boys and girls, that's the end of the story, but I want to tell you something. Please don't run away, because it's not a good thing to run away, okay? But in the story, 
that I made up, I knew what was going to happen, so I could bring them back home. But not everybody is able to come back home, so please do not run away. It's not a good thing. It's not a fun thing. And with that, I love all you boys and girls, and bye. We'll see you next time, Monday. Bye. Bye.